Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Norma with All Things Handmade. In this channel, you're gonna be learning uh, how to create, how to price, how much to invest, how to buy it at wholesale, and how to sell it. Let me get ready and let's get to work. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I did this image. Look at how nice it looks. Uh, for this, you're just gonna need any kind of vinyl. Uh, and of course you need your Cricut, your mat, your uh, weed, weeding uh, tool, and of course the image that you want to uh, work on. So basically I'm gonna go on my uh, computer and you're gonna type a spiral Betty. See, there it is, spiral Betty. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna upload your image here. This is the uh, image that I want to use. So you just bring it up and then you fix it and you place it more or less where you want to have it. Also move it around, like to bring it closer. Okay, you can go back and forth to get it where you want it. And then I'm just going to click OK. And there it is. Okay, there's a uh, you can go to this you can probably play around with your with your computer you can feed it to the screen to download it or to share it on facebook twitter and instagram so that's another option but i'm not going to do that today uh, down here also there are different things that, that you can do with it uh, one thing that i encourage you guys not to do don't make it so that it's so thin because when you're gonna weed it, it's just really a pain in the booty. So you don't want that. Okay, so I have mine here already. Once I have it where I want it, I wanna make it black and white. Again, that really doesn't matter either because you can change the color once you download it or upload it on your Cricut. Uh, but I just decided to do it now just so that I see how it's gonna, how it's gonna look, okay? Then you go to your download and you go show advanced options. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna go ahead and clean it up. And that happens really quick. You're just gonna click uh, clear background. Another little thing that I wanted to uh, make sure that I tell you guys is, it's telling you that the spiral Betty is for personal use, for non-commercial uses. If you wanna use it to do business out of this i think it's it's you know only fair that we buy the commercial options it's a commercial licensing and then right here another thing it's uh is telling you is keep a uh, spiral a spiral betty alive to buy betty a coffee so i i guess let's click on that that's going to open another page and here it is and then to support her I guess you can send her money or you can, you know, just support the person because she's put so much into this that uh, we need to support each other. Anyway, so now here, here's your image. It's ready to go. So all you're gonna do is download. So it downloaded it right here in the corner. However, your computer, I have an iMac. However, your computer uh, does to, to download, you're gonna follow those steps. For me, I have an iMac, so my download is right here in the corner. I'm gonna click it twice to see it. So here it is. And then I'm gonna close it and it's already gonna be on my downloads. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open your QuickCut. Let me put it to where you can see it. You're gonna go upload. You're gonna go through the process of the uploaded. And there are the images. I'm not going to, no, let me go ahead and click on that. So here it is. We're going to open it. So see, if you look here, it's already clean. So that's saving us a whole bunch of, um, whole bunch of time. So you go complex, continue. There it is. You're going to, you're going to save it as a cut image. So right there, you can either put a name on the image or not. I usually don't and then you just go upload. And it's gonna be, I already have it on my system, so I'm not gonna go, um, I'm not gonna uh, upload it again. So now here we go to new, 
and we go to upload there's my image I'm gonna bring it up and it it brought it up super big so I'm just gonna go up here where you size it you can go up to 11 and a half inches so that it covers the t-shirt that you're gonna do just nicely I'm gonna go 11 for this one so there it is you're gonna mirror like everything else okay so there's your image so you go make that this is so easy I'm really like in awe of it you're gonna go mirror and then you're going to go continue and then you put you print it out it takes a while to print so I already have something that I want to show you I already printed something that we did let me move my camera to with my uh, heat presses and we'll continue I have the image that I'm going to print and I'm going to print it in a Hanes V-neck tagless. Uh, I'm going to put a link of where I get all the prod the items that I use for this video. So here's my shirt. I'm just going to press it for a few seconds to get all the moist out of the t-shirt. So there it is. This is the image that I, I printed um, that I printed last night. And one thing that I that I gotta share with you guys is like on this on the application where it shows that you can move it to make the uh, image more noticeable. Don't go all the way to the right because otherwise, when you weed, it's just gonna be a lot of work. It took me about a good forty-five minutes to an hour to with this. When they said that you just pull it and it goes, uh, not necessarily not necessarily i guess because of the material they were using also the person that i get uh, most of my my vinyl from i'm going to put a link in the description box um this name brand weeds so easily it's like you'll be surprised how easy it is so here's my image so all i'm going to do is i'm going to go go three fingers or four fingers below the the v neck so right there and I decided to print it on a, on a white uh, t-shirt because the contrast is really nice so that the image looks better. You can experiment with different colors. The, the sheet, you're gonna put it over your Teflon sheet. And then we're just gonna print it at 305 for 15 to 20 seconds. So I'm gonna be doing 20 seconds. So there it goes, it's gonna open by itself, but it, it makes a big sound. I really like it because if I get a phone call, or if I get distracted, once the printing is done, it's, uh, you can just leave it and it's gonna open up by itself. Okay, so here's my image. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plastic off. Oh my goodness. Wow. I used a I used a black glitter for this one. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but let, let me once I have my image here, I always do this. I'm gonna put it just like that without the plastic just to seal the vinyl. And I put it for about eight seconds, maybe ten seconds. And the t-shirt is ready. Let me bring it to my table so you can see it better. Here is my image. I'm very happy with the results. I'm going to be experimenting with other ones. But look at how beautiful it looks. And it's the the, the vinyl that I use is a, a glitter, glitter black. I don't know if you can see the glitter. I can't see it through the, through the recording, but maybe on your side you do. So here it is, you guys. I am very happy about this. This is a great Mother's Day gift. I believe so um i mean i love it so that's all for me you guys may the lord bless you today and every day stay safe until next time thank you